Hello, I wanted to make a short little video to show you how I was able to retrofit modern snare wires with this old P87 strainer on this old Ludwig drum. The original snare wires are no longer manufactured. Um, you can see it's an interesting setup where it's got a hole in the middle and two holes on the on the edges. Uh, this is to, to work with the P87 strainer. Um, one of the main issues is these snare wires for a standard 14 inch drum are longer than a normal snare set of snare wires for a 14 inch drum. So here's, here's how you get by that. You purchase pure sound uh, snare wires for a 15 inch drum. If you can find it in a 16 count um, strand, do that. I wasn't able to, so I had to go with the 20 strand. But this is how I modified to make it work. The first thing I had to do was cut off a wire on either side because the 20 strand wouldn't fit through the hole in the bottom hoop, which is essential in the, in the way this functions. Next, I had to modify the actual end of the, of the snare wires. Do you see how the brass colored section has been cut out? This is what it would have originally looked like, just a rectangular piece of metal. And then now it's made so it'll fit inside the P87 strainer. On this drum, it has the standard, very common uh, P32 um, snare butt. So for that, I was able to just, you know, tie it in like a standard snares. But as you can see, being that it's longer, it reaches the full uh, width of the resonant head as it's supposed to. And most importantly, the snare fully engages and fully disengages. I did take this apart and cleaned it and lubricated it, but uh, this drum is now all or still all original with working snares. I've seen a lot of people online complain about this uh, P87 strainer, and this is a nice, relatively easy way to keep the drum all original and function well. One last note, I know that some of the of these snares that have the P87 snare strainer don't have this type of butt. I don't know the model number offhand, but there's a different type that is made for holding um, individually adjustable snare wires. So my suggestion is if you really need just a standard set of snares, assuming these holes line up, I would encourage you just to maybe swap out the butt plate and then you can use this setup. Uh, obviously you don't wanna drill holes into a vintage drum, but if the holes line up or if you can make some sort of plate in order to, to keep the drum all original, this might be a solution for you. But either way, I'm super happy that I had this all original 50s era WFL snare drum working well. All right, have a good day.